Hi, this is Anna Hacken from Green Talk, and I've talked about collecting buckwheat on uh, Green Talk many times, but I figured I'd sh shoot you a little video of what actually buckwheat looks like when it's dry. This is buckwheat. Can you see the brown? Let me get. Can you see the, the kernels? And what I basically do is I kind of flick them off and put them in my bucket. Um, there's other ways. I mean, you can take a broom and do it. I'm just not very successful doing that, like, you know, taking all the stocks down and hitting with a broom. So basically, I'm doing this one-handed, so this is not really the best thing, but I'm going to have to also later, it's called chafing, where you take the leaves away from the buckwheat. It's kind of throwing them up in the air with a, a blow dryer to take the, the chafe, which is the flowers, out of the buckwheat. But this is basically what I do. And then you want to collect buckwheat when it's like about 80% dry. I'm like way over dry. As you can see, the stalks are really dry. Um, that's my um, squash, my pumpkins that are actually growing inside my buckwheat. But as you can see, um, if you wait too long, you're going to lose a lot of the kernels because they're going to fall off. And then next week, you're going to have a nice crop of buckwheat again. Um, I'm zone 5, zone 5-6. Five, and I got all of this buckwheat. Actually, it was I'm going to just pan across a little bit. This whole thing that's kind of plowed down was all buckwheat. So I'd say a 10 by 10 plot. And um, it all came from me not collecting my buckwheat on time. And a lot of the uh, seed fell. Um, so I had a nice crop of buckwheat. But the flowers look like, let me just show you. This is the flower of the buckwheat. It's really very beautiful. These are ones that are growing from, again, the seeds that fell in, this, in the fall. And one of the fall, maybe in the summer where I didn't collect them. So as you can see, they're coming back, and they have a really beautiful leaf. Um, bees actually love buckwheat. And uh, for some people, actually grow it to as a green manure, and they just, before it flowers, they plow it under, and it's great for the soil. So if you have a small patch, like a 10 by 10, 8 by 8, consider growing some buckwheat. Um, I actually use it as a grain um, for pa pancakes and for gluten-free um, bread. I just like buckwheat. I like the smell of it. Um, and then at the end, after I'm done with it, I take, that's the buckwheat stems. I'm just going to use this mulch around the garden. Um, as you can see, my pumpkins are kind of taking over. This is my pumpkins. They're just kind of taking over. So uh, they're like my natural weed controller right now. So consider growing buckwheat. If you do grow buckwheat, leave a com comment after the, um, the video and tell me how you shuck it and um, what you use it for or, you know, if you're thinking about it. Um, I believe me, I could take all ideas. This is my second year growing buckwheat, and it's been a lot of fun. Again, this is my bucket of buckwheat. Um, I could have done a lot better had I harvested it when I should have. Here's again. So this is Anna Hack from Green Talk, and out in the garden, instead of being on my blog like I should be, shucking buckwheat.